once you find the MCP, what you'd like to know is, well, what is the list of tools that this MCP provides and what are the actions I can take with the tool? So the way you do that is using an MCP inspector. Well, one of the ways you can do it is using MCP inspector, which you can run simply with NPX. Now you do need to install NPM. So if you haven't got N NPM installed in your system, go ahead and do that. But I'm going to run now NPX model context protocol slash inspector, and it should open up a service. Uh, here it's on port, uh, it's on localhost 5173, and you have this nice UI where you're able to check, uh, you're able to inspect some of these different servers. Now to check a server or to check a service router, you need to have the right argument for kicking off the service. And you'll find that argument usually in the repo for the MCP server. Uh, so here you'll often find some kind of example config and it's broken down into multiple lines, but essentially the command to start this service is NPX followed by playwright MCP at latest. So I've got here NPX um, and then I've just pasted this in. Now this is an extra tag I'll talk about later, but I just want to run the basic playwright uh, MCP, which is for browser navigation. And normally you would add in some environment variables if that's needed. If you need to configure, I'll show you that later. But for now, I'm just going to connect um, to MCP. And yeah, it looks like we're up and running. So you'll remember that MCP services technically can support not just tools, but also resources. And it looks like there's some, there's some kind of basic resource here, but I'm mostly interested in the tools. So I'm going to list the tools. And here I can see that this MP, MCP server provides these different options. So browser navigate. Browser go back, go forward, choose file, browser snapshot, click hover and type. All right, so let's try this out. And this is the nice thing about the inspector. You can actually check uh, how it works and what the actions are before having to write it into an LLM. So let's go to trials.com and I've run the tool. Now I'm just going to uh, move this to the side and you can see it's actually opened up a browser because um, we're running in the default mode, which will show you the browser. 